tropical weather bulletin coverage here at Media Marks Weather Northeastern, getting right into, seems very stubborn here. Of course, we've got two tropical depressions here, one off the coast right in the central Gulf of Mexico here, starting to make the turn. Although, as I said, models are trending further west with this, so we could be looking at a further western envelope here in the north central Gulf of Mexico or the western, extreme western Florida panhandle over towards Tallahassee, those areas. So watch for that. That's getting very interesting here, finding a weakness in the subtropical ridge. This could become the H name storm, or this other storm could become the H name storm as well, H or I, whichever comes first here, off the coast of the North Carolina here. This will quickly, it won't probably won't make landfall. If it does, it'll be on the outer banks and then it'll quickly zoom out to sea here. But as I said, that's Tropical Depression 8. This is Tropical Depression number 9. We'll move inland across uh, portions of Florida, Georgia, potentially South Carolina. It will reemerge off the coast somewhere here, and then it will head up the east coast. Now, it will probably just skim certain areas, but we'll have to watch it here along the east coast if this were to accelerate northward. And it, and it will. It, it will hold its own. And it, this may be still may become a hurricane before it makes landfall. So we'll watch for that here. And I do have it bringing it up to hurricane status before making landfall and potentially hurricane status again off the Carolinas. So once it heads up this direction, it will eventually be either carried out to sea or by many models here, which I think is a distinct possibility. It could hug the coasts a little bit, not saying it'll go inland, but it could very well hug the coast up the mid-Atlantic to the northeast off the Cape Cod there. Now out to the rest of the Atlantic, we'd have another off the screen here, another big tropical wave coming off the coast of Africa. That bears watching, that's an invest system, 92 I believe. And then out here, and this could affect the Azores eventually, uh, Gaston. Very big hurricane out here could eventually by the weekend or early next week affect the Azor Island chain. I'll, I'll keep you tuned here because this, this is a pretty big storm. Getting right into precipitation amounts across the United States, we're only going to talk about one thing here, and that's especially from southeast Louisiana over towards portions of Alabama, Mississippi, Florida. Take a look at Florida. Florida is the real tough spot. No matter... No matter how far west this thing goes, yes, it will cut down on rainfall amounts if this heads further west. But nevertheless, Florida is dealing with some major problems here. It's going to be on the east side of the system no matter what. It's a very big system and it will bring a lot of feeder bands up on the east side. Looking at anywhere from 8 to 12 inches to a foot or more of rainfall here. And that translates up the east coast here. This could be major trouble. The Carolinas up towards portions of southeastern Virginia and eventually southeastern England. Let's get right into that pattern here. Trough developing out west. Trough developing back east here. That will help carry these tropical systems and prevent them from making landfall in the northeast. Getting right into the forecast. Starting off with your uh, Midpoint of the week here, taking a look at your Wednesday. Look at across the northeast here. We're not looking too bad. Uh, we're dealing with, of course, a cold front that will be pushing across the area. This will be the front to help carry tropical depression, which could be a tropical storm by that time, out to sea. Well, showers and thunderstorms into your Thursday. We're pushing that system to the east. And, of course, we have some residual showers here into New England. But nevertheless, here across the northeast, we're dealing with clearing skies, lower humidities. Heading on into Friday, TGIF, we have the prospect of some moisture coming up the coast here. We'll have to watch it for Labor Day weekend. But nevertheless, this system becoming Tropical Storm, whichever name it gets, could eventually hug the coast later on Friday into Saturday quickly as this thing moves up the coast earlier in the day Friday. But nevertheless, we're looking at high pressure really dominating here. Take a look at the cooler temperatures. We even have 60s here in portions of the Adirondacks, Poconos, Catskills, and on up to southeast Canada here into your Saturday. Looking picture perfect, beautiful sunny skies and temperatures making in the 70s. In 10 seconds, Alpha 5 Day Outlook from my hometown viewers from Binghamton to Scranton, Upper Susquehanna region of upstate New York and northeast Pennsylvania. Facebook, it's Media Mark, Weather Northeastern, WX Northeastern on Twitter. Website, MediaMark.com and WeatherNorthEastern.com. Look at this.
Wednesday through your weekend. Wednesday is the only real bad day across the Susquehanna region. Look at this. By Friday, lows in the 40s or Thursday night and Friday night with highs only into the lower 70s. That's going to do for this edition of Weather Northeastern.